I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, a 14-year-old boy was shot four times in Chattanooga Sunday afternoon. It happened around 5 p.m. in East Lake. He was hit in the chest, thigh, and arm. Police say that when they arrived, he was alert and walking around. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. Police say they have no information on who may have shot him. A woman says she was raped in the ER at Sky Ridge Medical Center in Cleveland. Stacy Cordell was taken there January 24th after deputies suspected she overdosed on medication. Cordell believes a male hospital employee took advantage of her in her room while she was unconscious. But police say there's no way a rape happened there, and the hospital says it didn't find any evidence. Now District Attorney Steve Crump has ordered Cordell's rape kit to be tested by the TBI. A jury says a student's rights were not violated after a mom claimed her daughter was strip searched by a school nurse. The mom was suing the Hamilton County Department of Education. The search allegedly happened while the five-year-old attended Apison Elementary School in 2012. The mom said her child, who was handicapped, was searched multiple times without her permission after a teacher believed she contracted herpes from the girl. A 14-year-old boy fell at the blue hole in the pocket wilderness Sunday. Authorities haven't said how the boy fell or how badly he was injured. He was taken to the Children's Hospital at Erlanger. Another Cleveland police officer has resigned. Sergeant Eddie Bonnet had been placed on leave for texting an inappropriate photo to a subordinate. Two sources say Bonnet texted the woman a naked photo of himself. A former North Georgia sheriff's deputy has been killed by a suicide car bomber in Afghanistan. 46-year-old Barry Sutton of Rome was previously a deputy in Floyd County. He was in Afghanistan to train local officers in law enforcement. The CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee is retiring. Bill Gracie will leave at the end of August. He became CEO in 2013. Chief Operating Officer J.D. Hickey will become the health insurer's next CEO. The 44-year-old joined Blue Cross in 2011. Part of one of the nation's top-rated trails is closing. Fiery Gizzard Trail will close at Raven Point in December. It's all because the segment lies on private land in Grundy County that a landowner wants to sell. Volunteers have just months to reroute the 13-mile trail. Officials say the new segment will be much steeper and more difficult. Former Tennessee Representative Joe Carr is endorsing Ted Cruz for president. Carr says Cruz has taken on the establishment in both parties, even when it was unpopular. Finally, the Chattanooga Visitors Bureau has hired its first music marketing director. Mary Howard Aide's job will be to sell the city's music scene around the region. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 88 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 60. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.